James Bazan, member of Parliament for Silkirk Interlake and the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of National Defense. This is my third trip to the Maidan uh, since the uh, brutal killings. Uh, 66 people that were gunned down by sniper fire by special op forces uh, that uh, were no doubt tied to uh, Russia. And every time it comes here, it is just such a heart-wrenching experience to see uh, what actually occurred. But as time progresses, it also gives us the opportunity to reflect on the incredible amount of courage of the 100,000 plus people that occupied the Maidan and really made a difference in the history of Ukraine. And so when you look at where, uh, what they were able to accomplish, that Yanukovych and his regime uh, fled the country. Uh, they overthrew a government without actually having to raise an army. Uh, they were able to uh, bring about new presidential elections and a new brighter future under President Poroshenko and are moving now towards constitutional amendments, uh, changing the way governments work at both the national and local levels. And now we're also going to be proceeding with uh, parliamentary elections. By far, there's still so much more work that needs to be done, but because of the resilience, the bravery, and the sacrifice that has been made here through the Euromaidan, we know that we are really talking about a new future for Ukraine because the people are getting what they've wanted and what they fought for.